I was looking at a huge variety of schools, schools that were probably five times the size of this. Um, <laughs> And also I was looking at schools that had a three season program for um, cross country track and track. So um, what really made me decide on Clarkson was when I stepped onto the campus, I just instantly knew that this is where I wanted to come. It's just the sense of community talking to just in admissions, just knowing that my teachers were gonna be there for me and help me along. I was looking for a college that offered really strong academics in addition to cross country running and skiing. And so Clarkson was one of the few schools where I found that I had a good academic program and also really strong running programs where I'd be able to enjoy the sports that I love. I've been involved with the program here for many years and I tend to have a style that's very relaxed, supportive, yet flexible. We try to encourage our athletes to get involved with many activities. Uh, most of our athletes are uh, heavily into academics and they're all very hard workers. One of the things we look for is not necessarily the world's best athletes and most talented, but those who both have a passion for running and also for academics. So what we look for really is a nice blend between the two. Uh, and the whole idea is commitment. It's all about commitment to either school and also to running. The thing I like most is the sense of community. Everyone's really supportive of each other and at the meets, and everyone like sort of congratulating each other after we finish. And there's also, it's a really good competitive environment. I think everyone's working really hard in practice. And I think that's one of the most important things when you're training, looking around, seeing that everyone's really, really putting their all into running. So. We incorporate a lot of cross training also, um, which helped me out a lot, especially this season. Um, a lot of um, our athletes here are not used to high mileage, or they used to do high mileage and they're experiencing injuries now. And um, with the training we have here, we can incorporate cross training, which actually improves times as well as um, prevents the injuries. So it's not something that a lot of runners would think about, but cross country, like cross training has actually really helped and improved a lot of our runners on our team. The Liberty League is comprised of uh, nine private schools. Most are liberal arts, some are technical. They all tend to be uh, very reputable, like Clarkson. Uh, that would compose of our, one of our championship meets. We also compete in a variety of invitationals. One of the ones that the team particularly gets excited about is called the CCOC, or the Cross Country Only College Meet. And this will uh, basically be a face-off between programs that only offer cross country running rather than track programs like ourselves. We fashion ourselves to do pretty well in that arena as it's an opportunity for us to compare apples and oranges, as we say. We get to compete against schools with the same makeup as ourselves. Liberty Leagues is very competitive. Um, we race against teams in, such as St. Lawrence, um, who are nationally ranked. Um, so we have teams that, um, that may not be as competitive, but we also have teams that are extremely competitive. And we have teams we can reach for. We have teams that are right with us and teams that might be a little behind us. So there's a lot of competition this week. When people think cross country runners just go out and run, there's so much more to the sport, uh, its involvement and how it can uh, pervade your life, you know, the ins and outs, the people you hang around, the attitudes, the values. It's really kind of a package and that's what we really try to support here at Clarkson.